Oh my God. Thank you. I never realized Luke's was a hundred miles away. Well, look, it wasn't snowing. It would've been the Donner party all over again, but with slightly better hair. <laughs> Why are you sitting over there? Where? At that table. Huh, how did I get here? You sat there. Well, this chair is very close to that chair, so you understand how I could have made the mistake. Yeah, move over here with me. Why don't you move over here with me? Because I'm not the one who sat in the wrong chair. I think it's a little presumptuous to assume that my chair is the wrong chair when my chair could just as easily be the right chair. No. Why? Because I'm the leader of the clan, the provider of the household, the alpha male, and the one whose feet just fell asleep, so there's absolutely no chance of movement. Fine. Thank you. It's nice sitting at the grown-up table, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me, did my trophy bump you? No, Kirk, it didn't. Good, because the size of it is so large that sometimes I can't judge where the exact end of it is. We're fine, Kirk. I'm glad, because these shiny golden edges are actually very sharp. They could take an eye out or cause a deep gash completely unintentionally. Uh-huh. It's almost more a weapon than a trophy. Really? Can I hold it then? Get out of the way, Kirk. You're blocking the door. Look, I'll be needing one of your larger tables this morning, since your smaller table simply cannot accommodate the sheer size of my massive trophy. Put it on the floor. It needs its own chair. It's gonna need some glue if you don't sit down pretty soon. Everybody hates a winner. Okay, how about one person gets pancakes and one person gets eggs and then we can share? I can't. I have to go. What are you talking about? It's... <gasps> it took us 30 minutes to get here? Lots of limping. Oh, shoot. Well, at least grab a donut before you go. Hey, uh, Luke, uh, we need a couple of donuts and uh, some of those extra legs Heather Mills is sending over to Croatia. Coming right up. Hi. Hey. Hi. 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 I have to get to school. Yeah, me too. Bye. 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 What the hell was that? That was episode one of Rory and Jess, the early years. What? Rory and Jess are together. Are you serious? What about Dean? Dean and Rory broke up at the dance. They did? I was at the dance? How come I didn't know about this? Because you're you. But why? What happened? Jess happened. Wow! Wow! <laughs> so... Yep. Wow, well, this is great! I'll tell Dean you said that. You know what I mean. Rory and Jess, Jess and Rory. I think this is great. You, don't you think this is great? I think Rory's 17. It's probably about time for a Jess. Look, I know Jess is a little tough sometimes, but he likes Rory, and Rory's a good kid. Hopefully, she'll rub off on him. You know what? I spent a lot of time and energy fighting the whole Jess thing. Rory's made her choice. I want her to be happy. I'm just hoping for the best at this point. Very romantic. Says the man who yelled, finally, at the end of Love Story. I'll get you coffee. Thank you very much.